The Maggi Market is finally here, full foliage is coming, and even more potato pods. Yes, that's right, it's update time again, and judging by this week's teaser trailer, we are in for a treat and not a trick. In today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the patch notes for Paleo Update 0.184, which has been dubbed the Autumn Awakening Update. If you want more Paleo news and content, don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get started. Of course, we have to start off by diving into the Magi Market's return. If you missed out on previous markets, you should be very excited as this is a special event that takes place in its own dedicated area and it's filled with mini games, shops, exclusive items and other exciting features. If you are a returning player, then there are some key differences and new features to keep this market fresh. Excuse the pun. One of the key differences is how long the Magi Market will run for. Last year we saw the Magi Market run for a whole month and this pattern was repeated in the Lunar New Year festivities. However, from today the Magi Market will run for only one week. But do not panic, it will return for another week on Tuesday the 8th of October and after that it will come back every four weeks. This is an exciting change and means that everyone will be able to enjoy it more hopefully and it will spread it out because it was a long wait. To access the Magic Market, it remains the same. There is a special gateway at the bottom of the right corner of Kilima Village, and you can access the special area at any time, but the market will only be open between 6 p.m. and 3 a.m. Palian time. The Chapa Chase is also returning, which if you haven't played before, is a fun little mini game where you run around trying to collect all of the Chappas and returning them into their pen. Previous market patrons may have a love or hate relationship with this one, but I think we can all agree the music for the chase is 10 out of 10. Stamp cards are also returning. These are a form of Magi Market specific accomplishments and you will get special rewards and tickets for completion. Progress from previous Magi Markets will not carry over, however the stamp card progress, collection and accomplishments will now carry over from month to month. A brand new mini game will also be added to the market, the new Popper Chapa game will take place every Palian night from 8pm. In this mini game, players will join together on the dock and shoot balloons out of the sky. The more balloons that are popped, the more tickets will be earned by those who participate. By the sounds of it, you will need to hit at least one balloon to receive a share of the loot. Everyone who participates in the game will have infinite arrows and bow durability during the time. My Briar Daisy supply is very happy about this. Zeki has also upgraded his wheel to a claw machine. When purchasing items from stalls at the market, everyone will have the opportunity to receive a claw machine token. Notably, the higher the price of the item will significantly increase the likelihood of receiving a token, especially if they have a value of over 6,000 tickets. If you are lucky enough to receive a token, you can trade it in for a go at Zeki's claw machine for the chance to win one of six little plushies. That's a lot of new additions, but they do not stop there. In the market, you will also find over eight new mini quests. If you save up enough tickets, you will also be able to purchase an exclusive nameplate. You will also find some interesting photo opportunities to take some snaps with your friends. If you check out your collections page, you will also find a brand new Chapa Popscore emote. There are also some drums to make some music, and from the patch notes, it looks like there are gonna be even more secrets to uncover. I was already excited about the prospect of the Magi Market returning, but now we have all the details. I cannot wait to get started, collect all those tickets, see how the new games work, and get my hands on the Magi Market exclusive items. But I would also love to hear your thoughts on the change of the frequency of the Magi Market. Do you like this new way of doing things? I feel like it will be a positive thing, particularly for newer players who missed out previously, and the change will also benefit everyone as this will significantly cut down that long wait time between the markets and hopefully mean that we can get our hands on more of the exclusive items that you can only get at the market. So let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the new Magic Market? What are you most excited for? Everyone loves autumn and it's time to get into the Halloween spirit in Palia. We are sadly now saying goodbye to the beautiful flowers that have blossomed around Kilimo Village for the last few months and hello to lots of scattered leaf piles, changing tree colours and other seasonal features. That's right, you will notice a severe aesthetic change going on throughout Kilima, and hopefully this will help you feel a little bit more autumnal when you're in the game. 
With these changes, we will also see the return of the spooky moon shop. This is a special stall that is set up in the plaza area behind Zeki's stall, and here you can find items for sale including spooky pumpkins, which do come in a variety of different appearances, candlesticks, spooky floating candles, a special pumpkin wallpaper, and of course, four leaves and leaf piles. This is great news for players who have had long-term envy at their friends who have had these hands on these wonderful items. I expect to see you all creating pumpkin patches going forward. If you have been enjoying collecting the spectacular potato pod login rewards, then there is good news. The new pods are growing as we speak. If you log in at least once between 10 a.m. Pacific time on Wednesday the 24th of September and 10 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday the 8th of October, you will be eligible for one potato pod. If you return the following week and log in between 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 9th of October and 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 21st of October, you will also be able to grab a second potato pods. It looks like the potato pod login rewards are here to stay and with each coming update, expect to see more pods and the patch notes also teases at more Twitch drops and that becoming a thing that is also tied to updates. So keep your eyes peeled for more information about when they start start and what the rewards will be. This update is largely about the magic market but there are a few improvements to make gameplay that little bit better. Firstly, when a quest asks for an item that has a star and non-star quality item and a player has them in their inventory, the quest will automatically prioritize non-star quality items for completion. So that's good if you're trying to keep your hands on particular fish, crops, maybe even a bug as well. And for those players who are trying to obtain the tier four nameplate for house chores, the required number of reactions has been reduced from a whopping 1,000 to 5,000. 500, so hopefully that will make this a little bit more obtainable for players. There are also quite a lot of bug fixes in this update. I'm not going to reel off all of them because you can go and look for yourselves. I will link the patch notes in the description below, but the ones I think that were affecting players the most is the Pebble to Plunder quest line, which meant that you couldn't complete that and get Enar the reward from him. That has now been fixed. And there was also issues in Kilima Village, particularly around Zeki's shop, where the floor and other items weren't loaded in in time hopefully that has now been fixed if you're a switch player there was also an issue where you couldn't place an item without exiting placement mode that should also be resolved but as i say if you want to learn about all the fixes take a look in the patch notes and before we wrap things up, we must also just take a quick look at the premium store. From today, there'll be two new outfits and a tall skin set available, which will be a little bit of an ancient Rome feel to them. These are the ancient champion outfit, which comes with very fancy holographic wings. And this outfit includes a hat, top and bottom and costs 2,550 Paleo coins. There is also the Luna Devotee outfit, which has a celestial feel to it. This comes with a hat and top and costs 1,700 Paleo coins. The ancient champion tool skin will spice up your bow and changes the appearance of your axe to a sword. This is something we haven't seen yet, so this is very exciting. There is also a particular bundle on sale this week, and this is the Magi Market bundle, which has 65% off, and you'll get four different outfits and a glider for 2,550 Paleo coins. And the second wave of items will be dropping into the premium store on October 8th but they are now available to preview in your wardrobe if you want to have a look at them. There is one outfit and this one is called the Dollhouse. This comes in three different color varieties and it includes some glasses, a top and bottom and it costs 1,275 per outfit or if you want to buy all of them it's 2,550 in total. To celebrate Halloween there are also some spooky additions. These include the Jack O' Lantern Glider for 850 coins and a pumpkinified tool skin set for 425 coins. You will also find some changes to the much loved pets, including a pow cat in a witch's hat, an autumnal pow cat and a glacial pow cat. All of these have a price tag of 999 paleo coins. The Golder Pups have also had a little makeover and these appear to be time exclusive. These include the Jack-O-Lantern Pup, the Grim Lantern Pup and the Hollow Lantern Pup. 
Lastly, there is also a brand new addition to the premium shop. We've not seen these before. These are special for Halloween. These are masks and there are two available. The first is the Forest Spirit Mask for six 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 paleo coins that price was definitely intentional and beyond the veil mask with 425 paleo coins and this comes with flowers i love the flowers on this one i hope we get different color options for this as i would definitely love to rock this with a halloween outfit so there we have it that's everything coming in today's update let me know what you think in the comments it's fair to say this update really did largely focus on the magic market and i really hope you all have fun and get to enjoy it particularly those of you who have never been to one before. Have fun playing and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.